How are you doing? I'm doing very well. What about you? Give me a second. I'm good. So did you get, can you download those interfaces? Yes, I did. And can you pop them in your background? Uh, no, I can't. Apparently there is an issue with my operating system that I cannot use them yet. Oh, uh, you got an old operating system? For Zoom. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I have a 2015 uh, Mac um, and apparently, I mean, if I put any of the filters I have here, this is what happens. Uh, so I need to, in theory, I need to have like a green, um, a green like wall. Well, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, if I, if I ask, let me see, if I go to my, uh, and I choose one of the interfaces, Yeah, I think what it, I've been trying to use it, but I think apparently the problem is that I, I have um, an old operating system. Uh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Well, we could have had our first interface to interface chat, but we shall persevere. I like that. <laughs> I know, I know. <coughs> uh, here I am. So how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's uh, I've been very busy here. Many things emerging and 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 well, everything is happening at the same time. All your projects you're taking off, kind of thing, and and now they're all should have all your time. Yes, you got to spread. Uh, exactly, exactly. Everything is taking off. Um, projects are coming together. So I'm right now in the moment of, okay, what exactly I need to happen? Where do I need my energy, my, my focus? Mm. So how many other projects mm -hmm. are you working on? That's all of them? Did the sound go? I can't hear you. The sound is off. Can't hear you. There is the sound. Whoa. Can you hear me? Now here, can you hear me? Now I'm hearing you. Yeah, now I hear you. Okay, what I was showing you here is that um, this is what I'm working on. Um, I'm developing like the syllabus of the School of Social Alchemy and, and the consulting services that I can provide to support projects like participatory cities, Charter for Compassion, and and here there is like festivals and I am providing like the architecture for, for networks and movements to be cohesive and work together. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, we have here the work we're doing with the Holistic Vision Symposium, one of the outspring of, of this, which is the, uh, the One Asian Future Project to work on, on connecting, restoring and protecting, activating sacred sites. And then the synergy engine and vital science monitor, which is something I'm working with the together team. And this is the cherry on top of the cake. The Interstellar University, which will be part of the School of Social Academy in a way. It's hard to see. Um, yeah, I can't I can't really see, but I, I get the idea. Yeah. See what you need anyway is an interface like this where all of your services are on buttons. I mean, I'm figuring out, I think I can make the software program before it's a software program. And have okay. it, like this is like a doorway to my world. So the, depending upon who I'm talking to and what we're talking about, I'm gonna have a different interface screen for it. 
And so mm -hmm. you, like, let's say if you had a, the idea is that you take people down a series of steps that are all interfaces. And these interfaces, let me get another one up there. Um, like that first contact, like I'd have a first contact convo, that would be my interface if I was meeting you for the first time. So mm -hmm. depending upon how you want to structure your world, we can create interfaces that then sequence the people through your processes. Mm, that's nice. Because everything's that's in nice, that's nice. Days, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th it would be interesting to create something like that around the magic canoe process. Yeah, I was thinking that. And this, and and the seven levels of co-creation. I, I mean, I, I'm working on a formula, uh, on this formula for the planetary awakening, uh, that is like seven levels, seven layers. I mean, se yeah, seven levels as in spiral dynamics, seven layers of co-creation. Uh, four quadrants, 12 sectors. I think um, I, I have a, it's funny because I have, I was working on some interfaces that are seven by seven, because I have a seven by seven too, but they're different, right? I have the, the seven paths, and then I have the seven steps, but I could change, mm -hmm. the, I could change the language in easy and put your yeah. seven and seven. Yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> The, the interesting part for me is to, to validate in a way what it is that you have, uh, I mean, why did you selected those seven, which is the framework, the mindset, the, the, the theory, the, whatever got you to say these are the seven. Uh, I would, I'm, I'm, the, the way I've been working on, on, on the models I use, is it's been mainly, mainly using social biomimicry. Like understanding what are the what are the patterns in nature and the universe, and and there and therefore how do I translate that into social systems? So that when I come up with whatever numbers and and elements I find, there is a, a rationale that I found them to be working with. Uh, yeah, they are, in, they are in alliance with the blueprint of the cosmos and, and nature. So I, I would like I would like to understand also your rationale and the process on how did you get to that point. So that that would be interesting too. I mean that that's what I, I am interested and curious uh, on your many models um, and see if, if you have like if that comes out of pure inspiration. Which is okay, or if you went through a, a particular like process to to weave them to my, to bring them together. Well, I guess like you, I've been using number, and so in the inflow, the number you're at dictates the parts. So at three point three, you divide things by three. At three point four, you divide things by four. So I I use numbers specifically for my models because then I have vertical integration in that sort of section. So if I'm using mm -hmm. eights, eight by eight is a 64, seven by seven is a 49. So it's kind of like, it's a, it's a way of fractalizing information that to me, <clears throat> at some point it just seemed the way to go. So the seven by seven is at pass, at minute to minute. And it's just like, there seem to be seven layers to the universe, right? There seem to be seven planes and seven subplanes and we're on the, the, the lowest of the low <laughs> of the planes. And so, you know, looking at spiritual literature and seven, they use numbers very succinctly, right? For whatever they're using. And if there is a seven, there's a reason there's a seven. Like it's not an eight, it's not a six. And so when you- All Right, I mean, the, the whole sacred geometry part is good. And, and I, uh, in some way, not in a full way, I use, I am inspired and follow Mayan, the, the Mayan calendar to the, to understand and decode numerology, but then whether it is number three is creativity and not service, uh, or why? I mean, that that's what I would like to understand uh, the rationale how you got to that. Well, I think like in the tetrahedron, there are six relationships between four points. 
So I have mm -hmm. six is relationships in terms of what I'm using. Five is creativity and products. And, and most, let's say manifestation or like the Pentagon has a lot to do with creativity. Um, you know, some of it may be arbitrary. Some of it maybe I got exactly. It's tough to kind of uh, <clears throat> like at some point another systems thinker is going to come in and look at the system and okay, well, why did you do this? Why this? Why this? Why this? Why mm. this? And sometimes it's intuitive and sometimes it's just as a result of the next step, right? That just seems obvious. So I, I mean, th th there is like two resources and polarity old paradigm new okay. paradigm. like at some point like i find that you could take basically any model you could build any model and you could rationalize any model and if you had enough people believing in it it'll work right like th th there's just an incredible exactly. I mean, there are many ways to to get there yeah um, yeah and what i'm trying to under i mean i've been building a trying to go beyond a model trying to more of understanding of of um the way nature works pretty much that is the the way i am working on following things yet um yeah it would be i think something like this would be useful to have uh, uh as in the magic channel process to, to gamify it and, and to do it in the way you are you are using it and what I would like to explore is the uh, how those interact uh, with what you have. Well, I think I'm just bringing something up right now. Um, talk and I'll uh, I want to bring up the seven by seven I've got <clears throat> because I, I think that is the the relationship between your seven by seven and my seven by seven is is a key point because I think. It's pretty much it's similar, but the languaging is a little bit off. But you have levels, and I have steps. So I think my steps will fit within your levels. I think your canoe process matches my seven uh, steps. I mean, it's it's fascinating. I think the integration between them. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just getting this here. But I just, I did this on the weekend. I spent like 14 straight hours and 16 straight hours uh, doing a whole bunch of interfaces. And then I did it with three different groups because I'm working on three projects. So I, I created a, a set for each one, including Luciel. And I, 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 you saw, I sent them, right? I don't know how people will react, but I just think it's, you know, when you're in a Zoom and if everyone is coming from their, their, their particular section, that really gives an understanding as to who's speaking about what, right? Like when you really get down to it, people are going to be in roles, people are going to be doing things. And if you know you're at marketing, if I know I'm at products, hey, we know what we're doing now, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, are you using this with any other group orientation yeah. network or what? I've got, I've got a group in Saskatchewan, which is just a, a, a number of, four, of women that are building a visionary hub, it's called, and uh, a, a man in Canada who wants to create a, it's called Mother's Hands, and it's, uh, he wants to get food security to all the reserves in Canada. So I've got somebody who's a startup by himself to bring the team together, and tonight we're going to use the screens for the first time inside Zoom. So that's my first time of doing it, plus Luciel. Um, plus I've got, uh, a team now in Hong Kong is looking to bring the card sets into China and Hong Kong. Um, so that's that's been organized by Gino. So oh, Gino, amazing. Yeah. So Everybody knows Gino. So Gino uh, got a little excited about it and, he's, and he wants to uh, implement some of the stuff within his master's program. So he's brought, got some students together to help out. So that's, that's huge. I'm getting a bit of a hand you know, to, to get my work into a real form. So here's, here's what I'm talking about in terms of what I have. So I have like each path, if you were coming in from a client point of view, you're on one of these seven paths. And so let's say your path to healing click, 
then I would have a seven step process to take that person through it. So that that's kind of like, maybe this is at the individual level and maybe what you have is you, you have the, the different levels. So each of those levels, the organization or the person could be at one of these levels of path. And then you come in yeah. and start the setup and the finish. And that's basically your seventh, your, your magic canoe is over here, right? Yeah. So it's well, actually, no, the, the, the magic canoe is the, the call. The, the seven steps are compliant with the magic canoe um, in, a, in a way. I mean, the start is the call. Then you have the setup is where you convene and, and you let go of what you think you know. And, and then you build up by energize and, and deepening the understanding. The crescendo is when you get the group to have full understanding of what they want to do together and, and they have a deep understanding of the process. Then they move into, and I don't know, the east out will be like, okay, let's get prototyping. Let's, let's get things moving. And number six is uh, in my canoe, that will be like a uh, final product. Let's get, let's do it. Let's manifest it. Let's, uh, and the finish is let's celebrate the outcome. Let's learn together. Let's, let's share this with the world. Okay. So that, that's a good fit. Um, yeah. So then it's coming at like what level at their at. So if we just switch these seven to the seven levels that you have. Well, I think that's a little, it could be similar. Uh, I think that's more of an individual process. It's not necessarily linked to the seven levels that we have. I mean, that's kind of connected in a way to the, to the Maslow pyramid, I would, I would think. Um, I wonder how that, that in a way connect, I mean, the Maslow pyramid is connected to this parallel dynamics one. Mm -hmm. And I see this more of the personal, organizational and community process as on, on their path to, to be in service to humanity. Um, and I think this, this would be like a good thermometer, uh, a way for people, organizations and communities to wonder, where are you? In, in which level, uh, how close you are to be a service, a person in service to the world, an organization in service to the community, a community uh, in service to its citizens and the planet. Um, so um, I, I think I see this more like at the, the hero's journey. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you are connecting those seven to, to that. A um, little bit. I mean, it's, it, it could be put into that term. Like, it's a little bit different, but pretty much the same, I think. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with NUMAP? Because I with think... With what? The new map, the, the fractal, the, the, I mean, I, I like the way you have it, yet I would like to combine this with the fractal way of navigating, the hollow map, new map. For sure. I mean, I, yeah, I use new map and it was, it was the only software system that could really do what I wanted it to do in terms of the navigation and, and uh, having the, the whole ons that you could, you know, guide yourself through. And I think something like this could be an entry point where let's say you press path of archetype and you press the start right and then mm -hmm. the, and then the door would open and that's the beginning of you entering into the process right like i see i see what this is a series of interfaces and doors where each step like actually those mm -hmm. yes. like, that we've been working on that you you enter the door then you're into let's say a chat room then you have to go through a process have some sort of mission when you complete it, then you go to the next one, right? Like I, I think what is missing is you know the whole thing of start, start, middle, finish, and start like start, middle, finish, and like the team has to go through something to, to do something to achieve something, and that's the end, and then they go to the next step. But you you have yeah. to you just can't have this open ended. I hope we're going to get somewhere by talking to me like we have to take them down a, a path where each step to me is a different conversation type and they have to you know start with you you know here's all the ideas you know break down these ideas okay now you got to choose what's the best idea 
Now you got the best idea. Now you gotta flush out that idea. And that's the next one. And then you, you know, carry it along until you, you have something that you're gonna bring into the market. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So what, what do you think? Like we sort of, we're not doing the Wednesdays anymore. Sorry? We, we don't seem to be doing Wednesday mornings anymore. Not apparently not. I think they are very busy trying to fit things on their own. Like it, I feel like I feel totally out of the process right now. You know? Yes, I, I think they got like I don't know. My sense is that they are too busy trying to deliver the best they can, and um, and I think they they have been talking a lot to John and Brian. I guess that I think you've been talking to them more than I do and um, if you haven't uh, I'm not sure what the deal um, I mean we we are the ones that know our models and we are the ones that could better understand how what I have to fit with you and then their members and we never had that uh, conversation in itself we have a very big conversation uh, as in what you can do what you can do to fulfill this need and then they put together the, the syllabus and, and now they're pretty much getting what they think they need from us to put what they think is best for the group. Pretty much that's the dynamic, which is okay. I mean, it is their project, it is what they want to do with the vision. And at the end, it is the team and, and represented in, in, in this program by Olivier and Sophie being the host trainers. And randomly, they are bringing the trainers or guests <laughs> I think more as a guest than definitely a trainer in control of, of what is going on, uh, bringing some pieces and bits of, of wisdom and tools for, for the purpose to be fulfilled. So at this point, that's what I feel is happening. Uh, I, I wonder, I mean, I'm curious to see how things are going to fit, yet I am happy that we can have this type of conversations to, to fully integrate what we believe is best. And if we can use this and, and bring a better service and level of training to the LSEL team and, and, and the holistic vision training program, that was great. Otherwise, I mean, we don't need to necessarily be married to what they are, they are doing. We can, I mean, I will be implementing this in the projects I have here. Yeah. And LSEL is one of them. And if things go well, and, and LSEL is, is an amazing, which could be, they have the full potential to be a, a successful prototype of, to build like innovation. I call them evolutionary innovation ecosystem. Yeah. Um, so that, that's, that's what I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm here um, and see how this works. Yet uh, there's an opportunity to do it in the other many projects that I, that I have up there. Right. Um, so let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, I, I think these days for me have been a little bit tough because I am in the middle of, of getting some, some funding, in the middle of, of bringing together a team, and in the middle of many other things in my personal life. Um, but I, I believe that this conversation with you is really important because I want to, I am also in the process of, of building up uh, the infrastructure for the School of Social Alchemy. And, uh, and these conversations are very, will be, I mean, and they are very enriching to, to what I want to do. Um, so I think something would be useful to me. Um, I mean, I have to go back to, to, the, to the workshops and presentations and, and see them again of what you already have here in the LSEA group. Uh, and if you have any other, or perhaps in, in one of the meetings, I, I would love us to go deeper to understand like the full process. And I, I have many questions to you asking, what is the background? How did you get there? Mm -hmm. uh, rather than the, the just learning your model and understand how could I apply it or to combine it with what I have, I am interested in how did you get there? Um, I, I mean, I, will, I want to understand the, the sacred geometry knowledge that you have that made you say is going to be five is creativity right. or seven is service or i want to understand your understanding of the mayan calendar that made you work 
or the itching that made you work in the way you are using numerology. Uh, like now? But not not now. Not I mean today I have a I have an appointment in an hour and I need to get ready. I'm gonna meet with a funder today. Okay. And wish me luck. Um, but I, I would love to. Yeah, I'm sorry we started late today. I if, if we could finish today by the hour. That would be great. Sure. Uh, but yes, ex exactly what you have on, over here. That's where my decoding and social biomimicry mind like dives in and see, okay, I want to understand all of the crazy models that you have that I, I'm sure they work. Uh, but beyond being interested on a new model, I want to understand the social biomimicry process, which is my focus. You ever use a pendulum? Uh, I have mine. I'm very bad using it. I, I need to increase my capacity to use pendulum. I made this thing in the background. Sorry? You were the pendulum. What is that? This came through. A pendulum. A pendulum. Oh, excellent. Okay. Okay. So I, you have the Mayan calendar, and then you have uh, these numbers, these kind of random numbers behind that. Well, the, the, the purple is the zodiac. Mm -hmm. right? That's the lifetime cycle. The, yes. the blue is the yearly cycle. That's 13 moons. The aquamarine is one, one cycle, one lunar cycle. The green is one day. Then you get to the, the midpoint. Now these are where the people go on top of the Mayan signatures. And I see that as like a superhero team. And that's- Third day. Hmm? To get to the Mayan signatures per day, like you get through the whole 20 signs. Well, uh, I, see the, day. I see these as, as the actual people. Yeah, okay. And then you have hours, minutes present moment and time will sit right okay okay so it's multiple time cycles using nine and then having a bridge between the present moment and timelessness where then it comes out 90 degrees and there you have levels of consciousness so you can put the yeah. You can put the seven chakras, you can put the power versus force model, you could put the Ken Wilber spiral dynamics. Whatever, okay, I really like that. Whatever, yeah. It's the only model, I, ha I haven't seen another model that puts together levels of time, cycles of time and levels of consciousness. Um, you know, Tan from the Together team, I mean, she was one of the S7 uh, co-creators of NoMap. Uh, with Chris along, they have, they decoded at universal time and they are following a, a very different like calendar uh, of being aligned with the energy of the universe. So uh, first I would like to understand this, then I want to, I, I have always been very curious about how they manage their time and calendar. And, and now, and yes, and this will be very good to understand as well. Well, it's, hmm. it's, uh, it's then what you do is each the coding system, right? Like then you put on the four interfaces of the inner you, the outer you, the inner group and the outer group, right? So the, mm -hmm. the, the flow wheel, mm -hmm. which, you, which you know, is basically putting one concept on top of each time cycle. And that's that's kind of like, like I, like it's funny, like when you finally- it, it, it is a little bit like biodynamics that you plant a seed uh, following the, the stars, the sun, the, the planets, and, and you, there are different times during the day, yes. And then okay. finally made it so you can pop out the choice lenses. So each of <laughs> is a lens that so you can see through the lenses. 
that's very interesting. I, I need to, to go deep and understand the complexity of the, and the beauty you have in all of this. I know, I know. We need to spend we need to spend a couple of weeks together somewhere and just exchange knowledge on top of what we got. Yeah, I know. Um, where, where are you based? Where, where are you based? Um, remind me. You're, you're in the Pacific Coast. Are you in the in the north in the Washington state? Hey, Vancouver. Seattle? I'm in, you're in Vancouver. You're in Vancouver. Okay. How crazy are things going over there on the vaccine? Are you able to travel? Uh, well, I'm not sure yet. I mean, you can sort of, they don't have vaccine passports yet. Um, but it's still a little crazy in terms of traveling. Mm -hmm. So you can travel to Mexico if you travel there. I could probably travel to Mexico at some point. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I, I think let's, let, let's <coughs> let, next Friday, let's, let's next Wednesday, let's uh, find the time to have two hours uh, of a, a good deep dive. Okay. Um, and so we can just prepare the field and uh, and we can connect the dots and we can see where we could synergize and, and integrate, support each other models in a way. And 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 I think a couple of, of these of these meetings will will guide us to to, to where to where to how far and how deep uh, our synergy could go. Uh, and, and then we can decide whether like. I, I go there. You come here. Okay. If we are in, if we are in the right time, in the right place, to, to go deeper, or yeah, pretty much to determine how how deep of the the synergy is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I I think it makes sense that we sort of ally together to work on bigger projects and sort of take into account our different pieces and sort of work with large organizations or countries, you know. That uh, they want to work on a larger scale, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. I, I love it, and I, I want to. I mean, I, one of the books I need to. I, I have in the in the Dubai, and I have it's been there for like in the Dubai list for the past twenty years. Is the Power versus Force. Uh, uh. That, and if you have integrated that, I know that one of the Bibles and and compass to do anything. <laughs> Um, so yeah. I want to, I want to order, I'll, I'll be ordering that book and I want to understand how you are integrating into the, in, because this is a compass that you have here. Um, so let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So you got to get going, right? <laughs> yes. I need to get ready to leave shortly. Okay. Um, but yes. So let's, let's continue next. Um, and, and, next, and, uh, maybe, and maybe and maybe before we could come up with a list of questions or something and kind of maybe do a, a back and forth in terms of our models that we can also use as teaching tools at some point yeah yeah i think that's the first thing to do uh, i'll go back to to your models and the videos that already that you have shared already and and perhaps we can just go back into that and and do what you do. I think I will need to get a new computer to be able to do what you do. Like right now, I'm, I'm frustrated because I, I cannot do any of the, the magics that you are doing. And I, I, that's yeah, you're really inspiring me to like post my models and the presentations in that way. But that's because I'm using an old operating system. And if I upgrade the system, my computer will become useless, I know. Uh, so you need a new computer? Possibly, yes. Yeah. What do you have? Do you have a um, PC? A PC. Which one? Um, what is it? Do yeah, I, I have a Mac. I have a Mac, so that's the problem. Yeah, it's a bit expensive, but maybe. Um, anyway, yeah. I mean, we like what I just saw. Like, I want to build computer interfaces. I'm not a programmer, but I can build what they look like and then put them in Zoom, and then it becomes. Like yeah, let, let's, let's work on that because I'm going to be upgrading the website of the School of Social Alchemy and I want all of these models to be interactive. Yes, so, so well. Well, my friend, let's, let's continue over the chat just to uh, set a time to meet in the next Wednesday. I think mon uh, the mornings might be, I think, a little bit better for me. Okay. 
Yeah, Wednesday uh, is pretty open for me. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps noon, noon ish. Noon for me, 10 a.m. for you. That would be good. Okay. 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 See you on Friday, my friend. Okay, my friend. Good to see you. Yeah, lovely starting this process with you. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye.